Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one is the Mighty Max Cart. Uh, you can check them out online. It's www.mightymaxcart.com. And um, I uh, just wanted to do a quick review on this thing uh, because I, I just think it's a great product. Uh, you guys know I review a lot of different things and uh, you know, um, if I'll just go ahead and tell you if something's junk, then I, I ain't got no problem telling you because you know, I don't make any money off this. I just do it because I, I like doing it. And uh, anyways, uh, uh, I just think this cart is a, a really nice cart. And it's really strong. And, you know, I've already used the heck out of this thing. I've only had it about a week. And it's surprising um, just to have this thing around the house. Um, you know, just what all uses you'll find for it. Uh, the the first day that I got it, I put it together, and then right after I got the thing together, my uh, my air conditioning went out in the house, and, you know, I thought, man, I'm going to die in here. It's so freaking hot, and so I pulled out the, uh, the cooler and put it on top of the cart there, and uh, I had, uh, I knew my AC was going out, so I had uh, put some uh, containers of, of water in the freezer, and uh, I had about six or seven uh, gallons of frozen water. You know, I just had, you know, a bunch of ice in there. And so I just pulled those containers out and opened the lid of that Siberian cooler there and uh, loaded it down with, you know, six, eight uh, gallons of uh, ice. And then I dumped white ice uh, that I had in the ice box on top of it. And, um, you know, I... Uh, rolled this thing in my room and just opened the lid and, and put a little electric fan on top of it. And it did help knock the chill off the room. I'm not going to say that, uh, it, uh, was by cozy by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, where I'm getting at is, uh, if I hadn't had this, uh, cart, uh, it would have been kind of a pain in the butt to lug that cooler around with that much ice and, and stuff in it. And plus I put some waters in there too, you know, cause they were cold and I thought, well, um, you know, that, that'd be a good way to, to lug all that ice around, but, uh, it sure made it a lot easier to roll back and forth in my room with this cart. And then plus, uh, a few days ago, I did some painting. Uh, I painted the door here and, um, the front door to my house. And so I just, uh, wheeled this cart out with the, with the cooler on it. And I just laid a piece of cardboard down on top of it. And, uh, I was able to stick my paint can on top of there and you know it makes it uh at the per perfect height for you to to work on and uh so anyways uh um uh, I've really enjoyed using this cart the last week and I just want to go ahead and do a little run around and show you what all what all it, it looks like up close uh the first thing that it, that I really like about this cart is the wheels I'll just go ahead and tell you the wheels on this thing they are the bomb. Um, I like the fact that they're blue. They asked me when I got the car what color I wanted. And I know they come in blue and black and red and yellow, I believe. I believe it's red. But uh, anyways, I know they come in several different colors. And uh, you don't never have to worry about putting air in these because they're the uh, flat-free uh, kind of uh, wheels. They're hard. They're super hard. I mean, you could, you could put all your weight on them and they, they just don't move. And so, um, you ain't never got to worry about, uh, the wheels on this thing going flat on you. Um, as far as these little pieces of pipe sticking up right here, um, those are for the rod holders because this, this is their actual fishing cart that they sell. And, um, you know, I, I like it because you can put your cooler on there. You know, if you're going to the beach or the lake or whatever, you're going to do a little bank fishing, you set your cooler on there with your rod holders and, um, you know, and then you got a place to sit down. And, you know, this cart uh, holds like 300, 300 pounds and uh, I'm, I'm sure it would hold a little bit more. And I know it actually will hold a little bit more because I had this cooler on there the other night and I'm a big guy myself. I'm probably about 290, six foot one. And I set my big old butt down on there and it didn't come crashing down. So I was really shocked at how strong this thing is. And and uh, that, that really did, really did shock me. And so uh, 
The cool thing about this car is it's made of all plastic. And when I say it's made out of plastic, I'm not talking about that flimsy junk, you know, that's that, you know, a break, you know, just, you know, moving it around the yard. No, this is strong. Um, the plastic, um, it, it, it's got a lot of little, um, I, I don't know what it would be called. It, ha it just has a lot of support built into the plastic and I'll take the cooler off of it here in a minute and I'll show you. You can kind of see right here on the handle um, all the little little gussets or whatever that would be called in there and uh, it's it's plenty enough strong I can I can promise you that um, and if you're at the beach and you're around salt water and all that this cart is absolutely the cart for you because uh, there's really no metal on it the only thing that's metal is uh, the axles and so um, there's really nothing to to rust out um, everything else is is plastic and uh, so that is a, a really really good advantage and uh, the cart here um, is extended out in like the the uh, middle setting and I think there's three or four different settings you can extend this thing out to and I think right now it's in the middle setting and you know it it accommodates this uh, Siberian uh, 60 quart cooler no problem and uh, one reason why I uh, wanted the blue uh, wheels is because here on the uh, Siberian you can see it's got a little blue right there and then a little blue in the uh, in the name tag and then you know come with the blue bungee strap so I thought that was a nice touch <clears throat> and uh, anyways they've got all these carts and different configurations and stuff i'll show you right here on their their instructions and i do have to say uh this is the nicest set of instructions i've ever gotten from any product that i've ever reviewed these are all on like a nice glossy thick paper and all the everything is just perfect uh, you couldn't ask for a, a more simple um set of instructions to to put this thing together and show you all the different features that they have you know and all the all the different things you can add on uh to this cart and so you know i'll flip it over and you can see just exactly how it shows you to put the thing together so whoever did come up with uh the nice instructions i really appreciate that all right guys i pulled the uh siberian cooler off there just to kind of give you an idea of, of uh, what the cooler looks like without it and uh, i wanted to show you one other feature on this uh cart here is uh this little rack here in the front you know i i think it's really cool it just it just hooks onto the front of this uh this little guard here and um it'd be a great place for you to put like your your fishing pliers or hang some of your tackle off here or you know a net um, I mean there's just a lot of different things you could you could hook in there and uh, it's really functional and uh, I, I just think it's it's a it's a really cool cart uh, let's see like I told you uh, this thing's like in like the middle setting and you can see the way that you adjust it is you just reach in here mash that little button down and the cart just slides and now it's in the in the closed setting so uh, you can keep it closed all the way and haul something heavy on it or you can open it up and uh, let's try to do this one-handed there's the setting I had it on with the the 60 quart Siberian cooler and then you can uh, you can open it up one more it has the three settings and make it even longer so you know uh, when you open that thing up that's that's a pretty big cooler um so now uh, i will say that they do make uh uh attachments where you can uh hook another cart to the back of this thing you can see it's got like a little hitch here on the back and i mean they have really thought of everything on this so I really like it. If you don't um, want to use it as a fishing cart and you just want to take these off, they slide out of there real easy. You ain't got to fight with them. And so, so is the front one. 
me put my foot on it. There you go. But, uh, you know, not only could you use this thing as a fishing cart, but if you watch some of the other videos uh, and see some of the pictures that they've got on online, it shows, shows them um, moving a safe, like a uh, gun safe with this cart. And, you know, that ain't light. And let's see. You can see that this thing rolls really good. Got no problem going over uh, the grass or through the rock. And uh, it's pretty lightweight. All right, guys, I got the cart flipped over and I wanted to show you what I was talking about while I go about uh, all the little uh, gussets or whatever that is in the plastic and how uh, it's really reinforced everywhere. So it's not going to break unless you just really do something stupid, you know, like jump off the house right onto it, you know. Yeah, I'm sure that would break it. But, you know, <clears throat> it does have a uh, 350 pound rating. I, I went back and looked. I thought it was 300, but it's actually 350. So, uh, just to give you an idea, that's that's quite a bit of weight. Uh, I don't think you're gonna break this thing. Um, me and my buddy was, you know, sitting out here the other night after we put this thing together, and we were trying to decide if we wanted to ride this thing down this hill or not. And so, yeah, after seeing the 350 pound weight limit, we'll probably try it out just to just to see what it does. But um, uh, you can see right here, it's got like a, a little nut and bolt that runs through the middle that allows this thing to swivel back and forth. And uh, believe it or not, it's actually made out of nylon. And I didn't know how strong that that would be, the bolt being made out of nylon, but it, it's a thick bolt. And I was actually surprised that it was able to hold that much weight. But the reason they do that is so you can pull this car in salt water and it don't rust it out and so you know i, I really like that uh, i wanted to bring you over here to the box i know this is kind of cheesy but i wanted to bring you over here to the box and show you their information and their phone number and then kind of focus in on some of the features uh it says it's an all-weather uh, cart for your home office farmer ranch boat um and it only weighs 20 pounds and it can carry up to 350 pounds uh it's a retractable design can fit in a compact car's trunk or hang on a wall uh it will never rust or oxidize uh heavy duty wheels are solid rubber and will never go flat and there's no uh no bearings on the uh on the uh the wheels here they just ride on an axle and um, they've got this little clip on the outside that you just hammer on and uh, it just keeps the wheel from coming off and uh, <clears throat> let's see uh, it's got a two-year warranty on it and you know give these guys a call I mean check out their website for sure because they definitely have a lot of other carts if you're not into fishing or whatever and you just want a good cart to have around the house to move stuff around <clears throat> give them a call uh, and you know, hey guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else that you would like to see me review, uh, just send me a, a comment and, uh, you know, talk to you guys later. Have a good one.